is J2. Uh, yesterday uh, we had camp from Chaltara, uh, near the uh, get house of uh, Rolf Drive to Bhutan and we stayed in Bhutan and today is our first uh, trek to pass Pohori and this is a suspension bridge. Uh, you can see a beautiful view from the of Pass Pohori and the nearest uh, mountain of Kathmandu, Jugal Himal. And beautiful views, you can see beautiful views and scenes and scenery and lots of just from and it's uh, very cool and we hope today uh, today uh, I think uh, we are uh, going to stay in the party then the day after tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh, we are going to pass you can see beautiful ice crystal on the waterfall. Zoom water. So it's Jetsu on the way to Pass uh, It's very, very cold. Uh, uh, temperature is uh, below 0 degrees centigrade. Um, uh, from here, I think it takes uh, 4 hours to pass for uh, maybe 6-7 hours because uh, the beach is on the way, more than 1 foot, so it's very difficult to walk on the snake trail, so let's hope you can see beautiful waterfalls with uh, heavy snow, with uh, ice crystal, uh, beautiful mountain views from here, and uh, you, you can very injured this uh, trip to pass through. And this is Sunday's Guru. Uh, we came with me from Chautara. And our local guide, uh, Nima Tamang, uh, without him, we can make it possible. You can see the wooden bridge. Sunday's brother bro, Sunday's guru bro, for capturing this video. Um, love you guys. So day one, a uh, week, came from Bhaktan to Paz uh, it's 4 p.m. now, so because of the heavy snow on the way, so it's very difficult to uh, walk on the way, or walk on the path, and again, you, you, can, you had already seen the Paz uh, you can see a beautiful view from here, 
even a half moon from here in the daytime and maybe tomorrow uh, we'll arrive uh, past Pokhari. It's a really adventure for me because of after tw nearly 20 years I'm working on the snow and you can see the pine forest of and we hope we can see Himali bear and snow leopard, red panda The jade tree. Uh, it's here a uh, nursing party. Uh, last night we stayed here. It was very cold. Uh, it was minus 10 degrees centigrade, and still I'm freezing. Uh, Uh, 60 meters height and so have a wonderful day If you slip, then no one will get you that body.
Now it's one and half hour to reach past Pohari. Very cold. Passport uh, is over there. Uh, this is Lowry Bin Binak. Uh, uh, around something uh, four thousand uh, meters height. Uh, Lowry Lowry is uh, stick. Uh, Whoever had a uh, bring a uh, wooden stick, they have to leave the stick here. That's why I call this a low ribbon egg. Uh, but not this aluminium and aluminium and aluminium and steel sticks. One wooden made sticks, wooden mat. And uh, the uh, wind is blowing. So you can see a beautiful view uh, from here to Langdang area. Uh, behind that uh, hill there is uh, Rasua district and after that uh, Tibet, uh, China. So, uh, ready, enjoying the storm. Uh, heading to a fast pokery. Finally, uh, after five hours from uh, Narsin Party, uh, we arrived at Pans Pokhari. You can see all the legs were, uh, ponds are frozen. Uh, and because of the iron sick of sun, uh, everywhere is uh, very, very cold. Cloudy weather. You can see all the heavy snowfall on the way. All the Five pounds has frozen. And, and there is a uh, past pokery temple. And that's me. And finally, um, I made it to past pokery. And uh, many uh, local villagers and all my friends uh, had suggested me not to go in this uh, mid-winter at Pats Pokhari but I tried and I succeeded uh, so uh, I'm very very happy 
very very uh, adventure uh, trekking this was because uh, we have I just uh, found uh, snow leopards um, footprints on the way just behind the uh, uh, just below the low ribbon egg uh, in nearly uh, 3900 uh, meters high uh, but I'm lucky but uh, couldn't success to see snow leopard but is uh, far uh, still uh, put in, uh, and, uh, in this past Pohari uh, is uh, in uh, 4160 meters high uh, and this uh, past Pohari uh, is uh, world's uh, ninth highest world land also and uh, in nearly uh, 20 300 years ago, a uh, local hunter uh, called Waiba had come to hunt here with his dog. But uh, when <laughs> from here, uh, he saw the two uh, couple were uh, harvesting the rice. Uh, you can see uh, in uh, altitude of 4,100 meters, uh, it's impossible to uh, plant and harvest rice. So, and uh, because of his curiosity, he came down. Uh, and after he came down, the couple were disappeared. So he thought uh, it was Lord Siva, Mahadev, and his wife Parvati. So and uh, he took take out the bell from his uh, hunting dogs. So and uh, he uh, left here in the name of Lord Siva in the temple. And it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's uh, minus five degrees, five degrees Celsius. So and tonight uh, we are going to stay here, and uh, tomorrow we are going to back to uh, Chautara, and and we hope uh, uh, safely uh, we'll reach to Chautara also. Uh, thank you very much and um, I hope uh, this trekking uh, uh, will make our new media so much organizations feel so um, better that we all guys thank you very much but uh, you can see there is a uh, water is uh, flowing from that temple still and um, Masmukhuri is in uh, 4160 meter height uh, you can see beautiful view from around there. All it's very very cool. You can see all over the this this street. Because of sounds uh are playing hide and seek us uh, with us. So uh cloud is uh, gathering everywhere from here. Uh, you can see all the Next has been frozen. There were a uh, one, two, far there, far there, far there. There is a five pounds, pass poverty. And uh, all the uh, still uh, snow is falling, fresh snow. So everywhere you can see uh, heavy snow on the ground. And there is pass poverty. We are going past Pohiri to worship. You can see because of the heavy snow, it's very difficult for us to walk on this. So, need winter, that's why. Sanders, how are you feeling? I think this is your first high altitude trek and uh, walking on the snow.
we are losing our energy on the walking on the stone. Jai Shambhu, Kailash Kati Mahadev, Om Mare Bhame Ho. Finally, we have arrived at the temple. Oh, oh, oh. You can see, oh, here, oh, all the ponds are frozen, but you can see this water hasn't frozen. We call Lake Pans Pukhari. This is Zol. And this is Pans Pukhari Mandir. What an amazing and surprise. Everywhere it's uh, freezing water. Even pond also freezing. But here you can see. Before I'm also and prosperous life to my friends my family and my well wishes and those uh, who have seen this dhupati uh, uh, worship materials Oh, 
Enjoying the fresh season for fall after uh, my last time uh, uh, fresh season fall was in Mustang 1997, uh, nearly four feet high. Uh, look, feeling <sighs> wonderful and amazing. I did the right decision to come past Pokhari in this mid-winter seasons uh, since last two days uh, when we left Botang after that day we hadn't met anyone on the way we are uh, uh, we came on our own way so you can see the beautiful snow and uh, Pans Pokhari five ponds lakes and and you can see there is a temple called Pans Pokhari temple over there oh, we, had, we had just came back from there Ooh, uh, maybe God is happy with us that's <laughs> why the weather is going uh, very bad uh, yeah, feeling uh, very very cold uh, Maybe minus 10 degrees centigrade. Huh? So this is ready. Sunday's guru from Tautara. They can come with me. And our local guide, uh, Nima Taman. Thank you very much for him. Uh, without him, uh, we couldn't uh, make it success. And What's the best ready? What is this? This is my soup. Ah, guess who's Chicken mushroom soup. Wow. Ah, feeling wonderful in this ah, freezing environment. Wow. Akasbata keuri ayo, beda ko unjasto. Purne ko unjasto, purne ko unjasto. Ah, at least no falling. Oh! 